Today I have a really special video for you on a product that combines a brand founder's passion for social causes, a love for green beauty, and a desire to give back. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and Mahalo, a brand that I have worked with now for a number of months, and if I'm a very, very big fan of the brand in general, but this sort of partnership and campaign that they're doing during the month of April is just taken my love and devotion to the brand to a whole other level. Marina, the founder of Mahalo, has partnered with an international nonprofit called Red My Lips. You can read all about them at redmylips.org. Their purpose is to raise visibility and awareness about the realities and prevalence of sexual violence and to sort of counteract or combat rape myths and and victim blaming. Marina shared in an email that she's very, very passionate about lots of social causes, but particularly things like gender equity and women empowerment and things like that. So she felt that this was a really great partnership and opportunity to launch a product into the eco beauty sphere that would raise awareness about April being Sexual Assault Awareness Month and draw attention to this organization. So Red My Lips runs a global campaign every April where they encourage their supporters to wear red lipstick to demonstrate solidarity and support for survivors of sexual violence. I feel like I know all too well the rhetoric that sort of accompanies how women are supposed to, women and men, I mean, I guess I'm thinking more in kind of the heteronormative sense, but how women are supposed to behave a certain way, look a certain way, dress a certain way to not attract too much attention or then they are supposed to attract attention. And so it's this very complicated nexus of issues, but one that's also very close to my heart just because I am a woman that has to operate and exist in the world. <laughs> and as I'm sure you're aware, if you've watched me for a while, I love a good bold lip. I just got really, really excited about collaborating with Mahalo on spreading the word about this product and project. So in addition to the important social message behind this product, let's just take a minute and realize that Mahalo has created a safe and very luxurious matte red lip product. And I thought it would be fun for me to do, I haven't used this yet, so I wanted to do kind of a first impression and application and show you what the product is like and tell you what I think about it. The thing that I think is like so amazing about this and I'm so excited to see how it wears is that it's matte. And if any of you are bold lip lovers as well, or really, I guess, lip product lovers, lipstick lovers, uh, a lot of lipsticks in the eco beauty space are much more sort of sheeny, I guess, and they're not kind of matte, opaque, full coverage, which is my personal preference in lip color. So extremely excited to demo this and put this on my lips. So before I do that, I just wanted to share a little blurb that Marina included in a note. She said, in my work, I am driven to deliver more than a product. I am inspired to create an experience that transforms a person for the better. I'm inspired to create a product that acts as a catalyst towards change. So this April's Red My Lips campaign is very special to me. The message is simple, yet profound. Your sexuality is yours. Wear your red lip color, take back your power, inspire the conversation, or just support. So 20% of the proceeds of this purchases from this product will go towards Red My Lips. This is only going to be available via Mahalo's website, not any of the retailers that carry Mahalo. And this product retails for $45, which I know might seem a little bit steep for a lip product, but I think if you sort of have in mind that you're putting your money towards a social cause and getting a product at the same time kind of puts it in perspective. So I will have a link down below if you would like to purchase this for yourself. And I also wanted to mention quickly, Mahalo is also running a promotion. You don't need a code or anything for it, but if you spend $150 on their shop, you get a free facial steam that's valued at $45. And I will leave the information and landing page to that below so you can go check it out and see if that's something that would incentivize you to make an order this month. Okay, so a little bit about the product. This is how it comes packaged in this beautiful, beautiful red box with gold embossing. And then there's just a little bit of black tissue paper here. And it comes like this. This is the lip product, obviously. And this is a little lip brush that it comes with. So this is the product itself. It has a swivel top and it's in sort of Mahalo's signature bamboo packaging. This is what the product itself looks like. 
the top swivels all the way around and there's a magnetic closure on the other end where there is also a mirror. So it snaps shut like that. Uh, the lip brush that it comes with is vegan, if that is a concern of yours. So the formula of this, as I said, is meant to be matte on the lips. And it also, it says that it generates um, a gentle tingling from the plumping infusion of collagen amino acids, which is expected upon application. So we're going to see. The shade red is described as a perfectly balanced red with notes of orange and pink to complement all skin tones. I keep getting like whiffs of it too. It smells a lot like the petal mask to me and it's just that kind of, uh, oh, mm, it's so nice. It's that, to me it smells like raspberry chocolate, but the aroma notes are listed as dark vanilla and rose with a faint hint of Hawaiian jasmine. But to me it's like raspberry chocolate, it's beautiful. As with all Mahalo products, it's hand blended in small batches. So I'm now going to apply this with the lip brush and we're going to see how it applies. And I'm gonna tell you my first impressions. So my lips are completely bare. I just have a little bit of lip balm on. I'm not gonna use lip liner or anything. I just kinda of wanna go in with this product to get the full experience. So my first impression is that it's really opaque. I'm not really feeling any tingling yet. Oh, just as I said that, it started to kick in. So this is what one layer of product looks like applied with the lip brush. I'm gonna go in with a second layer and try and build it up. It goes on quite sheeny, uh, so we're, I guess I'm gonna see if it dries down matte. I like the shade of red a lot though that it is. It's it's very much, at least it looks like to me, a very true red. The brush is really nice. I like the shape of it. It's allowing me to kind of give a really nice precise edge. In terms of opacity, I would say that this rivals red conventional lipsticks that I have, like uh, Dior 999 is actually the one I'm thinking of, I think that I have that's closest to this. It kind of reminds me actually of some red apple lipsticks that I've tried. It's super, super pretty. I actually do really like the color. It's, but it's definitely not matte, at least on me. I'm not sure if it's gonna dry matte, but it's definitely sheeny. I'm not sure if I should blot. So this is the lip. I actually think the color description is right on. It it feels like a red that has orange and pink to it, for sure. It's, it's actually quite unique. I don't have any red lip colors that look like this. I think in the future I will probably use a lip liner with it just to get a little bit more precise, but you can get a lot of precision with the little brush that it comes with. It's very opaque. It's very full coverage. Um, it, it's scented. You can sort of detect a scent on the lips, but it's very light and very natural. So it goes on a little bit sheeny, I guess, but I can feel it sort of drying down. And then if you wanted to sort of further mattify it or set it, uh, a little tip that I've been doing lately is dusting just a tiny bit of translucent powder, like the RMS Unpowder on top of a lip that might have a little bit more sheen to it than you would like. And that will kind of give the almost like a liquid lipstick appearance. So in short, I think this is a really beautiful product. If you're in the market for an exceptionally clean, bold lip that is contributing positively to the world, I'm 
so glad that this exists and this campaign is going on. This will be available for the rest of the month of April. So I would love to hear your thoughts if this is something that you find intriguing, what you think about the color, what you think about the cause, whether or not you decide to purchase the product and contribute to the campaign. I just think that this is a great sort of conversation starter and just raising awareness to something that affects all of our lives, men and women. So if you have any questions about the campaign or the product itself, please feel free to leave me a comment. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing and hearing about this today. Mahalo is just one of my top brands just in terms of the performance of their products, but also the ethos and energy of the brand is just so expansive and high and I, it's aligned with me from the very, very beginning. So I'm very grateful to be able to share these sorts of things with you guys on my channel. I don't think I left out any information, but if I did, I'll leave any additional notes or thoughts in the description box. Always make sure to check down there below because I always have links and coupon codes and other places where you can find me on my website, on Instagram, on Pinterest, things like that. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in my next video really soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.